Hello everyone. It is QuickBooks Made Easy's quick tip e-newsletter that goes out with a little embedded YouTube video and I believe that's what you're watching now either directly on YouTube or through the newsletter. But anyway, I'm Greg Bosson, president of QuickBooks Made Easy. It is April of 2018 and this month's quick tip is about memorizing reports. So here's the deal. You know, there are so many reports in QuickBooks that you can just access immediately. You go to reports, click on all reports. We're looking at the business overview reports, but if I click this blue all reports, it takes me to these different categories of reports. And I can look at a bunch of sales reports, receivable reports, payable reports. Here's a bunch of payable reports, okay? Yet still, you end up not being able to find the report in exactly the way that you wanna see it. So what you end up doing is customizing the report you get a report that's somewhat close to what you need and then you end up customizing it and fixing it up, maybe even sending it to Excel. And then you end up doing that same process every single month when you need the report. So it would be nicer if you could basically customize a report and memorize it. So then it becomes part of your list of reports that you can look at. And you don't have to keep recreating it each month. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So it's kind of a twofer here. I'm going to show you how to customize a report and then show you how to memorize it so you don't have to keep doing it every month. So I'm going to click on the business overview section and I'm going to start, I don't know, I'm just going to pick a report. Say you want a P&L, but you want to be able to compare it year by year to like all years. So I'm going to go ahead and click a profit and loss. And now first we got to customize the report. Now to customize, you can either push on this customize button or some of the customization features are right at the top of the report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the date range. Now I don't have to go into the customize button for the date range. I can just click right here, all dates and run a report. Now I got a PL with all dates added together, display column by, and I'm going to say, please just do it by calendar year and click run report. And now you've got a report that gives you a column for each and every year, which is kind of cool. Okay. So kind of want to change the title of this thing. So I'm going to click on customize and here's where you can add rows or columns, filter out things you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and change the header. I'm going to show my logo on it. What the heck? And then I'm going to call this profit and loss for all years. Okay. And let's see the alignment, the report basis. I don't, I want to see all that stuff, but here's where you can change stuff. I'm going to click run report. So now it says for all years has my logo on. So let's say this is the report that I want. Okay. But I don't want to have to recreate it every single month or year or whenever I want to look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this save customization button right here. Now you don't want to do it until you've got everything changed. You got it just like you like it. Then uh, we'll click save customization. It suggests a name for the report. That sounds fine to me. And I can create groups of reports if I want to. I won't worry about that now. And you could share this report with other users if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and click save. And now it's saved. So what that means is when I go in to my QuickBooks online and I want to look at a report, I go to reports and instead of going to all, you go to this center area that says, let me zoom in on it. It says my custom reports. So you're going to click on it and then any reports that you have memorized will be there. And here's my little P and L for all years. And I can either edit the report. I can export it as a PDF. I can export it as an Excel. If I just want to see it, I just click on it it pops up on the screen. There you go. So I think that's pretty cool. And I think that's really the end of this topic. Pretty simple, not that big of a deal. I'm going to go back to my dashboard here. And if you need more information about this or you have any questions, please go to quickbooksmadeeasy.com. We can get very advanced. I know this was fairly basic, but I just wanted to start with something basic on these little YouTube videos and go to quickbooksmadeeasy.com, contact us, or you can sign up for the little e-newsletter. So we'll give you the quick tip every month. And I think that is it. Catch you later.